Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Morning Prayer for Thursday, April the 29th, and please join me. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, the Almighty God Most High has spoken and called the earth. Alleluia. Psalm 50, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, the mighty God Most High has spoken and called the earth. From the rising of the sun to its setting, out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God has shined in glory. Our God shall come and shall not keep silent. A consuming fire shall go before and a raging tempest all around. God shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth to judge the people. Gather my saints together before me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens shall declare God's righteousness, for God himself is judge. Hear my people, and I will speak. O Israel, I will testify against you. I am God, your God. I will not accuse you for your sacrifices or your burnt offerings. They have been continually before me. I will take no bull out of your house, nor rams out of your folds. For every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle upon a thousand hills. I know all the birds of the mountains, and the wild beasts of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world is mine and all that is in it. I will eat. Will I eat the flesh of bulls, or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving, and pay your vows to God Most High. And call upon me in the day of trouble, I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. But to the wicked, God says, Why do you declare my statutes or take my covenant on your lips? Seeing that you hate instruction, cast my words behind you. When you saw a thief, you befriended him, and you have been a partaker with adulterers. You give your mouth to evil, and your tongue tells lies. You sit and speak against your brother. You slander your own mother's son. These things you have done, and I kept silence, and you thought that I was like you. But I will accuse you, and set my case in order before your eyes. Consider this, you that forget me, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. Those who offer praise glorify me, and to them that speak rightly, I will show my salvation. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, the mighty God most high has spoken and called the earth. Alleluia. A reading from the Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, beginning at verse 9. All those things have vanished like a shadow and like a rumor that passes by, like a ship that sails through the billowy water, and when it is passed, no trace can be found, no track of its keel in the waves. Or, as when a bird flies through the air, no evidence of its passage is found. The light air lashed by the best of its pinions, and by the beat of its pinions, and pierced by the force of its rushing flight, is traversed by the movement of its wings. And afterward, no sign of its coming is found there or as when an arrow is shot at a target. The air thus divided comes together at once so that no one knows its pathway. So we also, as soon as we are born, ceased to be, and we had no sign of virtue to show, but were consumed in our wickedness, because the hope of the ungodly is like thistledown carried by the wind, and like a light frost driven away by a storm, it is dispersed like smoke before the wind, and it passes like the remembrance of a guest who stays but a day. But the righteous shall live forever, and their reward is with the Lord. The Most High takes care of them. Therefore they will receive a glorious crown and a beautiful diadem from the hand of the Lord, because with his right hand he will cover them, and with his arm he will shield them. The Lord will take his zeal as his whole armor and will arm all creation to repel his enemies. He will put on righteousness as a breastplate and wear impartial justice as a helmet. He will take holiness as an invincible shield 
and sharpen stem wrath for a sword, stern wrath for a sword, and creation will join with him to fight against his frenzied foes. Shafts of lightning will fly with true aim, and will leap from the clouds to the target as from a well-drawn bow, and hailstones full of wrath will be hurled as from a catapult. The water of the sea will rage against them, and rivers will relentlessly overwhelm them. A mighty wind will rise against them, and like a tempest it will winnow them away. Lawlessness will lay waste the whole earth, and evil doing will overturn the thrones of rulers. Here ends the lesson. Alleluia, O God, you have cast us off. You have scattered us. Take us back again. Alleluia. Psalm 60. And please recite it with me. Alleluia, O God, you have cast us off. You have scattered us and been displeased. Take us back again. You have made the earth tremble and broken it. Repair its breaches, for it shakes. You have shown your people hardship. You have made us drink wine that dazed us. You have given a signal to those that fear you to flee from the bow, that your beloved may be delivered. Save us with your right hand and hear us. We have spoken in your holiness, you have spoken in your holiness and said, I will rejoice, I will divide Shechem and parcel out the valley of Succoth. Gilead is mine and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim is my helmet and Judah is my scepter. Moab is my washbowl. Over Edom I cast my shoe. You triumph over Philistia because of me. Who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me into Edom? Will not you, O God, which had cast us off? And you, O God, which did not go out with our armies? Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of mortals. Through you we shall do valiantly, for you shall tread down our enemies. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, <clears throat> eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, O God, you have cast us off, you have scattered us. Take us back again. Alleluia. A reading from Paul's letter to the Colossians, chapter 2, beginning at verse 8. See to it that no one takes you captive through philosophy and empty deceit, according to human tradition, according to the elemental spirits of the universe, and not according to Christ. For in him the whole fullness of deity dwells bodily. And you have come to fullness in him, who is the head of every ruler and authority. In him also you were circumcised with a spiritual circumcision, by putting off the body of the flesh in the circumcision of Christ. When you were buried with him in baptism, you were also raised with him through faith in the power of God, who raised him from the dead. And when you were dead in trespass and the uncircumcision of your flesh, God made you alive together with him when he forgave us all our trespasses, erasing the record that stood against us with its legal demands. He set this aside, nailing it to the cross. He disarmed the rulers and authorities and made a public example of them, triumphing over them in it. Therefore do not let anyone condemn you in matters of food and drink or of observing festivals, new moons, or Sabbaths. These are only a shadow of what is to come, but the substance belongs to Christ. Do not let anyone disqualify you, insisting on self-abasement and worship of angels, dwelling on visions puffed up without cause by a human way of thinking, and not holding fast to the head from whom the whole body nourished and held together by its ligaments and sinews, grows with a growth that is from God. If with Christ you died to the elemental spirits of the universe, why do you live as if you still belong to the world? Why do you submit to regulations? Do not handle, do not taste, do not touch. All these regulations refer to things that perish with use. They are simply human commands and teachings. These have indeed an appearance of wisdom in prompting self-imposed piety, humility, and severe treatment of the body, but they are of no value in checking self-indulgence. Here ends the lesson.
And now let us pray for the church in the world, for the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people. For Michael, our presiding bishop, for Jennifer Ann, our bishop, and for Brother Joe, our community servant, and for all of our church leaders and for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed. For the poor, the hungry, and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine. For Joe, our president, and Doug, our governor, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. For those who are sick, especially Jerry. For those who died, especially Charles and Ron. For the mercy of God community, for Brother Joe, Brother Tom, Brother Todd, Brother Richard, Brother William, Brother Max, Brother William, and all the mercy of God associates. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend one another in all of our lives to Christ our God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Accept our praises, we beseech you, Most High God, in thanksgiving for your loving kindness. We honor you this morning and place our hope in your salvation. Never let us forget you. Guide us in your ways and strengthen us in our vows. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, and happy Easter.